Hey folks, so day three of the Whole30 and I'm having a little bit of a frustrating time. Okay, so I just kind of have a little bit of a headache. It is 3.37 and I came in here and so many things are a mess. So one thing that was good is that this, um, these cold cuts that I have, I didn't put have this on the list last time, but the cold cuts that I have are all Whole30 approved. So we have ham, we have smoked turkey, and I was like, okay, I can have like a roll up because we also have salami. Uh, then I look into the salami and salami's gone. Actually, that's not what happened. The first thing that happened was I was like, oh, I will have, come down and have boiled eggs. Ah, look, who knew there were only two left? I had no idea. I made seven. I had no idea that someone would eat the rest. I could, <laughs> it's like lucky me that those two are still, still, still there because I was like, oh, let me have that and I'll have the other half of the avocado from yesterday. Avocado's gone. So I said, okay, well, I'll have the eggs and I'll have the roll-ups with this. But you know, the salami will give it some nice flavor. The salami's gone. <sighs> so what I'm doing is I am supposedly steaming some, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to close the vent for steaming or not, <laughs> but steaming some chicken that I had, rotisserie chicken that I had frozen. And I don't know, I guess in the meantime, in between time, I'll eat this. Oh, Joy, look how my nice sweet daughter left me the, the cracked eggs. <sighs> I'm frustrated right now. Y'all frustrated. It was a goal. I'm gonna find the cracked eggs and give her all the cracked eggs. The thing about making these things in the instant pot is that they peel so easily. Get me peeling with one hand. I mean, really, a one handed peel. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I ate the two eggs, that's four points. I ate them with this truffle salt. And I decided to try these, these Primal Kitchen sauces. So these sauces, I never tried them before. I'm very like picky about my mayonnaise. I love Hellman's mayonnaise and Hellman's only. So hopefully they don't really taste like mayonnaise and they just, you know, won't make me feel like, oh, they're the wrong mayonnaise. So I'm gonna try them, let's see. All right, so this is the Chipotle lime. Just try a little bit on the Um, <clears throat> oh, a little spicy. That's interesting. Hmm. Doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste like thick mayo. Maybe it kind of does a little bit. I'm not sure. Here's the garlic aioli. Again, they don't taste bad. Here's the barbecue. give all of them a thumbs up each and every one of them yay so that looks like the three of them that looks like about a tablespoon so i'm going to count it as a tablespoon this is old so soda my floors never got done because of covid19 so that's the cra craziness you might see my head was just hurting like a little bit just slightly um ever since i was uh sick a few months back my head will hurt so Sometimes, like most of the time it's gone, but as you can see, I think I'm tired. I decided to come lay down. So little Miss Alexis is gonna cook tonight. She's making beef bulgogi. She's making jasmine rice and we don't have any cauliflower or anything like that for cauliflower rice. So I just asked her if she would chop up, up the chop up the um, zucchini. There is sugar in the recipe. So she said that she's gonna make mine separately. I mean, I've had beef bulgogi like only once or twice. I don't really remember what it tastes like. So remember I just had that barbecue sauce just now. If I need to use a barbecue sauce, I can. I mean, I can't imagine that I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm missing the sugar. I mean, maybe, but I'll just be missing it then. And I did not fast particularly long today, but the good thing is that I should be able to stop eating earlier. I would like to stop eating by like, 
I mean, I want to say 8.30, but that doesn't really work because um, my husband and I go walking at 8. I haven't been taking you with me because I don't take my phone with me because I don't like to carry anything. <laughs> he carries his phone with him, so we could have filmed with his, but I don't know. We were talking and I yesterday and the day before, so I just didn't feel like it. But anyway, what we do is we usually go walking around 8. Because it's hot. <laughs> Problem with that is that I don't like to have eaten before that because, you know, it feels so heavy in my stomach. But what I came here to say, <laughs> if I can finally get to it, is that, oh my gosh, my stomach feels so good and so light. I feel as light as a feather. And it's just wonderful. I just love that feeling. Ever since I got sick a few months ago, my stomach has been weird. And I feel like I've been getting like bloating easily or whatever, but not right now based on the fact that I was not eating. And then also what I did eat yesterday and what I did eat today did not cause, has not caused any discomfort and I did not eat too much. Hey, yawning, yawning. I need to take a nap before we go walking. So we're walking. I just wanted to show you because we're doing the, um, Still doing the 100 day challenge. God knows what day it is, but we've definitely been on an hour. And Mr. Fuller is not doing the challenge necessarily, but he's kind enough to have a nice romantic walk with moi, even though I came outside looking like this. And you know, the day that you look extra crazy is the day you stop and talk to a neighbor, right? Yeah, that happened back just in time for dinner din din so this is the beef bagogi and butternut squash because uh lex said that the zucchini was no good and mr fuller has the rice with his that's two bananas this is three tablespoons of nut butter two tablespoons of raisins and X number of blueberries. I only ate half, having a, a handful of raisins and pecans. But the truth is, I had two. <gasps> You're not supposed to be snacking on Whole30. Mm. 